Switzerland was a, a special situation, like uh, even though many patients in, uh, in comparison with the general population have been affected, it differed uh, a lot uh, among the regions. We have the southern and the western regions, the French-speaking uh, cantons and the uh, Ticino, so the southern part uh, bordering uh, Italy. And there the corona pen, uh, outbreak has been really a big problem. In the German-speaking parts of the country, in central and eastern Switzerland, this was not at all the case. So we really prepared very well for this. We stopped doing routine operations and um, follow-up visits, etc., for our patients. And this was even mandated by the cantons. And then the, the wave did not come as expected, luckily. Uh, so what we did, for example, we, we, we postponed a lot of routine visits and, of course, benign treatment of patients but we were able to keep on doing oncologic treatment, uh, especially operations and chemotherapy, uh, for example. Uh, so this was not really affected. Um, on the opposite, we, we saw that uh, we had much more resources for our patients than usual. For example, a PET CT or an MRI was possible the next day, which is even in Switzerland not uh, normal. Uh, so this was one of the f very few positive aspects of this. I think it was very different in the southern and in the western parts of Switzerland because the numbers were much higher and uh, the consequences were much higher. So intensive care units were uh, not overloaded, but it w they were really uh, there were many patients there, and so the consequences that were uh, that have been taken were okay. And I think it. Uh, prevented us from, from a collapse of the health system.